Hello and welcome to Arequipa, an absolutely stunning city located in the south of Peru. Here you can find some great restaurants and lots of fun activities to do. And now I welcome you to join the journey of exploring Arequipa together. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Currently, me and my boyfriend Ruel are backpacking through South America and a few days ago we reached our third country of this trip, which is Peru. Currently, we are staying in a city called Arequipa and what we've seen so far, it looks so beautiful. Like pretty much every street we've seen so far has been like picture perfect and stuff. I'm loving it already very much. Today is a Monday and we arrived on Friday very very late at like 3 a.m. so I guess technically we arrived on Saturday morning. We came all the way from Bolivia and it was quite a long travel day so ever since then we've honestly just been taking it quite easy. We've been re mostly just relaxing and taking naps and we haven't done anything special. We've just been recharging our batteries a little bit because traveling like this can get quite tiring at times. So yeah, a little bit of a rest weekend was very much necessary and so far we haven't explored the city much to be honest. We have however eaten very very well and already so far the food here has been so so good. And yeah, here's some clips from the food that we've had so far. came to this really really nice looking cafe and it's really funny you order through whatsapp and then the waiter will reply in gifts or stickers i think these are actually not gifts but yeah i've never ordered through whatsapp before in a restaurant and <laughs> it's really funny actually i love it start with the cheese. It's weird, just a steak of cheese. And the mushroom. Juicy. And yeah, we just actually checked in to a new accommodation. The first place where we were staying, we were not such big fans of the place. Like it was okay like the price wasn't very expensive we paid like 50 euros for three nights for two people which is quite cheap but the room itself was really really small and really really dark like there was only one window that was to the hallway so there was no like actual window so i felt a bit claustrophobic in that accommodation so we decided to change and we decided to splurge a little bit and get a bit of a nicer place for the two next nights now we just checked into this hotel and it's so much nicer than the place we were before. We have an actual window. So I'm super happy about that. I don't feel like I'm in a cave anymore. And the room itself is really spacious and big. And the bed is really soft in the old place. The bed was rock hard, like my back's hurting a bit from sleeping on it. And yeah, I'm super happy that we came to this place instead. Luckily today we are feeling much more energized after having two days of doing absolutely nothing except for eating. <laughs> so I think today we're gonna explore Arequipa much more. But first I think now we're gonna go and have something to eat. So let's go and have some nice lunch. Once again, we have come to such a nice looking little restaurant. Arequipa really seems to be a haven of lovely restaurants and cafes and they all look so nice and at least so far the food everywhere has been really, really good. No doubt it will be good here too. This is definitely a city for all the foodies out there. If you love food, you should come here. Hey. 
as our first activity here in Arequipa, we have come to a very cute place and I'm very excited to be here. So we have come to this place where you can learn about how alpaca and llama wool is used and they also have like a shop here where you can buy products made out of alpaca wool and stuff and they also have alpacas and llamas here but unfortunately they're all hiding underneath the roof over there right now maybe if we wait for a little bit they'll come out but it looks like they have a lot of food so it might take a while we decided to sit down by the little cafe that they have here i have all the animals behind me so if i see that they come away from the i don't know little thingy where they're under i'll be ready <laughs> to take some video clips and stuff but i got myself this passion fruit cheesecake looks good but it's a really nice environment i must say it's really nice to sit here there's a lot of flowers everywhere and stuff so it looks very nice let's give this passion fruit cheesecake a taste looks good mm, it's quite sweet is yours sweet mm, very it all got the same, but with elderberry, it's very good. Look at this sweater, it's so pretty with the little llamas here. It is. 50% off, but it's still like 50 euros, so not sure if that's in my backpacking budget, but I'll think about it. It's really cute. I really like it. We are now by the like main square of Arequipa, and here behind me we have the Basilica Cathedral. It's a huge cathedral and very impressive looking. Let's go and have a look what it looks like on the inside. The Basilica Cathedral of Arequipa is located at the main square and it's considered the most important Catholic church of the city. It's also considered to be one of Peru's most famous colonial cathedrals. hotel breakfast and they serve it here on the terrace so that sounds really nice This hotel breakfast and where we're having it did not disappoint. Today as our first activity we have come to the monastery of Santa Catalina and already just by the entrance it looks really really beautiful. I'm excited to get to explore this place. This monastery has many complex rooms, big plazas, fountains and cozy cobblestone streets. It was built in 1579 and is by no doubt a beautiful place to visit. This monastery once housed 450 people but today most of it has been turned into a tourist attraction. But there are still 20 nuns left living in the northern corner of the building which is a part that visitors can't enter. I was just thinking that I'm feeling really thirsty and like this monastery is huge it's taking much more time to explore than what I was expecting but I'm really enjoying it and just when I was thinking I was so thirsty we came across this cafe here in the monastery and it's so cute and colorful and full of flowers and everything so perfect ordered myself a cola 
Cheers. <sighs> that really hits the spot. Ice cold cola on a warm sunny day, sitting in the shade, surrounded by flowers and beautiful colors. Loving it. We have now come to this viewpoint here and you can actually see our hotel and the terrace where we had breakfast today from here. It's very close by actually. Visiting the monastery was definitely very very interesting and we actually spent a good two hours in there. So yeah, it was a big place to go around. It was very beautiful, very interesting and the cafe was lovely. So if you're in Arequipa, I would say that you definitely shouldn't miss visiting the Santa Catalina monastery. For lunch we came to this Japanese uh, restaurant that's right next to our hotel and I ordered some ramen. I know it's not Peruvian but yeah I was craving it so and it happened to be right next to us so why not? chocolate making workshop that we have signed up for so yeah I'm really excited it's supposed to take two and a half hours we're gonna make our own chocolates and learn about chocolate and how to make it and everything and hopefully we get to also taste and eat some chocolate chocolate workshop was so much fun we got to learn about the origins of chocolate of the different types of chocolate how it's made and much more <laughs> it should be enough for the six of you right that's more that's like, pretty good that's more like the we first picked and peeled our own cacao beans and then made this traditional chocolate drink that also contains chili what does it look like <laughs> what do you think, Rob? <laughs> How is it? You don't have to be polite. <laughs> He's sincere. Don't worry. I'm bitter. Sorry, I'm bitter. What we are doing with this drink is exercising our palate for a chocolate taste. And then it was time for us to make our own chocolates. Here, the first step was to cool down the chocolate mass. We can move our... That's it. Jan, you can smile. Why so serious? Why so serious? Concentrate. We're having fun. We are 28, 28.8. We need to drop to 26. Green apple, cranberries, banana, mango, and Hawaii mango. This is a citrus fruit, really good. Here we have pop kiwicha, pop quinoa, cacao nibs, peanuts, pecans, almonds, coconut, coffee, coca leaf, chia seed, sea salt, and your favorite rocotto, the one that we use Whilst we were waiting for our chocolates to solidify, we had a little contest where we had to taste the chocolates and guess if they were considered real chocolate or not, as well as what the cacao percentage in them was. As you can see from my face, I took this competition very seriously, which though paid off because I won.
it's cheesy, but not as cheesy as the one that we had in our Buenos Aires. <laughs> back at the hotel room from our chocolate workshop here's my little bag of chocolates and it was honestly a really really fun workshop it really felt like it was worth the money i definitely recommend if you're in arequipa and i was especially happy when i won the chocolate tasting test so you had to guess if a chocolate is fake or real and i got all five out of five correct and i won because there was one chocolate where everybody else said that they think it's real I was the only one who thought it was fake and I won thanks to that. So yeah, it was really nice. Now I have all these chocolates here. I'm not gonna eat them all tonight because I'm actually quite full, but let's taste one. I did every single one a different flavor. There are more regular flavors and I have a few a bit special flavors. For example, I made one into mango and chili. But yeah, let's try one and see which flavor we, we get. I think this is maybe peanut really good but yeah now for the rest of the evening we're just gonna watch some seinfeld and relax and then tomorrow morning we are going on a tour so excited for that but now relax and i'll see you guys again tomorrow good morning today we are starting the day by going on a tour we are doing a tour known as the ruta del silar seems like this is our transport of the day Can you guys see? There's a huge mountain there in the distance, but it's a bit foggy, so I don't know if it's uh, showing on camera that well. We have now come to the main thing of this tour, which is the Ruta del Sila, and you have to pay five soles for the entrance. So I hope you can hear me, it's a bit windy, but here at Ruta del Silar, you can see different sculptures and things that are made out of the volcanic stone from the volcanoes surrounding Arequipa. ice cream apparently this was chosen as the second best dessert in the world it's cheese ice cream sounds really weird but let's try it but it's not cheese okay it's not cheese ice cream cheese. No, that's <laughs> the name said mm. it's really weird it's like milk and cinnamon it's good i'm not sure if i would say this is the second best dessert I've ever had in my life, but it's good. We're now walking through a canyon.
I bought a baby alpaca sweater. I've been contemplating it for many, many days because it's a bit pricey. I paid a bit more than 70 euros for it, but it was 50% off. So the original price was double the price. So yeah, it's supposedly a good brand. I asked some Peruvian friends and they confirmed that it is a good brand. And already before this trip, I wanted to buy an alpaca sweater. I decided it's better to buy like a good quality one and like one really good souvenir or thing to bring home instead of buying a bunch of crap, I guess. So yeah, I'm really happy with my purchase. Today is our last day in Arequipa. Tonight we're taking the night bus to Cusco and we came to one more lovely little brunch spot. Like I've said, the city is full of really nice restaurants and we came to a place called, what is it called? Alejana. Gotta decide what to order. It all sounds really good though. dessert we came to the place where we went for lunch yesterday this place is right next to the place where we just were we're literally just sitting over there <laughs> and now we're sitting here but yesterday we had the most amazing carrot cake here uh, that we shared yesterday it was so good and big and it was just perfect so we've come back to have some more carrot cake but this time i think we're both gonna go for our own because it was just so good peas is huge but I'm not complaining. Well, this wraps up our time in Arequipa. Tonight, like I said, we're taking the bus to Cusco. We're taking the night bus. But um, yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.